first stop on the way. We just did a kind of a climb up to this church. So we're gonna have a short little break. Some thoughts for the day, I think. The minimum you have to do is 100 kilometers. Sarja is the big city where you can get that and start from here. It's 113, 14 kilometers from here to Santiago. So today here, and also it's a Sunday, and it's a Holy Week that's beginning. There will be hundreds of people with us on the Camino. Oh God, you who took up your servant Abraham from the city of Ur of the Chaldeans, watching over him in all his wanderings, you who were the guide of the Hebrew people in the desert, we ask that you deign to care to take care of these your servants who, for love of your name, make a pilgrim to Compostela. Be a companion for them along the path, a guide to crossroads, strength in their weariness, defense before dangers, shelter on the way, shade against the heat, light in the darkness, comfort in their discouragements, and firmness in their intentions, in order that, through your guidance, they might arrive unscathed at the end of their journey, and enriched with graces and virtue, they might return safely to their homes, which now lament their absence, filled with lasting joy. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. This could actually be quite some lessons in just following the signs. These signs are pointing us the right way, they're all over the place. It's kind of hard to get lost if you keep out. I mean, that's how it is in life. Follow the signs. Make sure that you have good signposts to follow and you will not get lost. Here I found something interesting. It looks like a graveyard, but you're, you're uh, in... Uh, yeah, you see. I've never seen something like this before, but it's interesting. We are here now, 113 kilometers left. And this is what you get along the way. Road signs telling you how far you have left. You cannot really see that much. But all the way along here, it's a long line of people walking the same way as we are. So just wait to Santiago. So this is also what you have to do, or have to, but you get a, a pilgrim passport. And you go to a place like this, albergues or cafes, and you collect stamps. You see, I'm gonna collect my first stamp for this day. We need two stamps each day. When we come to Santiago, you can get some kind of certificate that you have completed the whole thing. It's part of the pilgrim uh, pilgrim uh, life. It's time for the first coffee stop of the day <laughs> in, uh, in somewhere. So we can keep moving. So here you see uh, a little bit of the geography. This is the border between uh, France and Spain. The real route, you know, the whole thing starts here. And this is Spain, Spain, Spain. And we are starting here in Saria, which is 113 kilometers. This is all the stops along the way until you reach Santiago. And just for reference, this is the border between Spain and Portugal there. So we had our coffee and toilet break right now. We're about seven kilometers into our uh, into our walk of the day. As I said, we have, we have 22k to go. So it's a break time, lunch. We have uh, some um, muesli bars. Something to drink, some nuts, Google something something salty. And we are past halfway now. I'm almost 20,000 steps. So we passed the highest point of the day. So from now on it's just cruising down to the destination of today.
here for the probably final stop of the day. We are almost at 20 kilometers. We have 22. Uh, so we can see the little town we're going to down there. It should take us about one hour ish, maybe, before we're there. We actually stopped shortly after after this break again uh, to go to the toilet and stuff and I just realized with my watch now that we are approaching 30,000 steps for today that's about what you get in this 22 kilometers is the end uh, uh, distance and it's about what 45 minutes left maybe so we're sharing our thoughts for the day. We're almost finished, but we have still uh, some time to go. What's what's what you what are your um, impressions? My impression is hope. Here we are. We have a vision. Um, we can see our destination. Um, we started out. We weren't sure what was ahead, but we had a hopeful prayer to start with, and we knew we were with friends. So it was a great day. And how is the body feeling after the first day? Hey, pretty good. I have new, a new foot regime that seems to be working. So, <laughs> PTL. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's right. it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> As if 22 kilometers is not enough, they make us walk up a long stairs at the very end of this of stage one. This is like climbing the pyramids or something. And as Easter arrives, soon later this week, it's a good reminder that we have a cross with Jesus on it. You could never think of too much about that.